So now, without further ado, it is my great pleasure to invite to the stage the CEO of Microsoft, Steve Barmer. Today is a big day, of course, primarily because I'm here with you. But it's also the eve of the Windows 7 launch tomorrow. Folks will be able to walk down to their favorite future shop or wherever they want to buy and go take a look at the, some of the incredible new PCs with Windows 7 installed. And I have to say, I'm chomping at the bit. Uh, I have had the, the great privilege of participating in launch events like this uh, on the business side with IT people talking about Windows 7 for uh, about the last month. I've done about 10 of these in various countries around the world, and they're really exciting, but I think we all probably understand that the clock and the evaluation process and the consumer interest, uh, whatever, all really starts effectively tomorrow on the first day of availability. Uh, and I think that's just all a kind of a testimony to this uh, consumerization of IT that Gartner Group likes to talk about because the, the things the end users inside the organizations that you serve get a chance to participate in, they're certainly going to let you know what they think. Uh, you'll decide how you think about what they think, but uh, we're going to start hearing end user opinions effectively uh, tomorrow, and I, for one, am excited about that. And frankly, I think most people, after they've had a chance to, to, to try and use Windows 7, say, I like it because it's simpler, I like it because it's faster, it's more responsive, and then after that, everybody finds, there's, there's literally dozens and dozens of features in the product, and every user finds their own favorite feature or features. I've seen this in my own home. I bet if I was to do a poll of the audience, we would have, uh, what do we have? We have about 650 people. I'm going to guess I'll get 10 or 15 hands going up on any one of 40 features, but everybody will say simpler and more responsive, which in and of itself, frankly, is a productivity gain, let alone add whatever your new favorite feature is. I'll, I'll tell you mine. Mine is the improvements in wireless networking. I'm a road warrior, I think they call folks like me. I travel a lot. And you know the hassles of connecting and disconnecting, wired and wireless, 3G and Wi-Fi networks, I can kiss them goodbye now. It's so much easier for me and so much um, labor saving for me personally because it's a very nice product. It's significant because there was perhaps a little bit more noise in the system for our last Windows release. I'll choose to say it that way. About 30% of you have deployed it, and it's really a pretty good product, but there's just been a little bit more noise in the system uh, than we would have liked. It comes at an important time. I don't, I don't think you're going to run into a position soon where you're going to feel forced. You're going to feel more and more... Uh, excited about the possibility of moving, but I don't think you're going to feel forced in the sense that we're not going to have ongoing support of the XP environment. We don't have it forever. We do have a life cycle policy. You can extend it and get custom support beyond that. But as I said, I'm still talking with people who have Windows NT about extending their, their kind of support for that environment, and XP certainly came after that. 